Okay. So now, now we can be heard. Uh, I've, we've been muted the whole time. Oh. I didn't know that. You suck. Well, somebody should have been watching. That's what you get for not having any fans, you nobody. <laughs> yes, feel the shame. I didn't check. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. We couldn't hear ourselves through that. I, I like how it's it's so mean. You turn it on, and it, the first thing you hear is you nobody. <laughs> All right, Gump. let's test. Let's test our desktop audio with a Sammy Classic Sonic fan update video. Okay. Hello, Gump. everyone. Um, this is Sammy the Gump is Classic Sonic all over fan. Stuff. Um, this is probably fine. Honestly, I'm kind of nervous to be oh, making. I can't this, hear you, Sam. As What's going on? some of you may know. See, this um, is why we test things. Because clearly, something's going on with my audio. The Sakurai Direct would have started and we would have just been yeah. intermittently Shit. leaving and Why? Oh, it's, it's appearing picking up audio? back on YouTube, t taking breaks for months at a time. Leaving and I, I think I've raised quite a few. So why can't we hear? Oh, because. What did you do? Me and Mickey took apart the computer, and we never plugged back in. The speakers. It, it worsened um, early last year, um, and that is. Uh, that should probably be turned down because it's kind of time, echoing I, and shit. I've lost. Um, Where is your microphone? Interest and motivation. The microphone is right there. I've had in. Um, oh. all sorts of activities. Um, <laughs> so it'll probably end up echoing. Because um, we want to blast me. that direct. So I guess it's just been so kind of hard to um, encourage myself. And I, I, I mean, I'm glad I heard I something. Have, um, oh. It went to fuzz. Community. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I oh. don't deserve it. Did you hear that? Yeah. Um, I've made the same mistake multiple times. Be working now. <laughs> Is it turned on? Uh, yeah, all the way, in fact. <laughs> honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, uh what about your computer? Is things in the audio muted on your computer? Yeah, it's going to check in now. The, um, same classic Sonic fan brand. Oh. That's kind of what I want to figure out, um, within these next few days. Okay. Um, on Twitter, Okay, clearly I it doesn't, be, it thinks we have um, headphones. I would like to, perhaps... Who did that? Thoughts, um, perhaps oh no, now they can't hear us anymore. Feel free to send them to my message box, or I'll even. I don't hear it coming through that. Yeah, that was not coming through. The... It was coming out here. Because someone plugged in the. Oh. I want to continue with guys. Like. Aw, uh, rip. Rip Sammy. Oh. All right, there we go. We're only gonna experience horrible echoing. Yeah, you can already hear it. Echo from I just have to turn that down. There we go. Uh, yeah, the echo from here that's gonna be uh problematic, but you know what? We deal with it. There's gonna be an echo fighter DLC pass, <laughs> and um. <laughs> go. Hey, this is this is what the fuck was. He he'll he'll calm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> it, we I'm still sure. got 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And the first Echo Fighter announced is going to be uh, Malos over Shulk. Nah. No? Nah. They're not going to do the... If they're going to add... If they're going to add a character from, from Xenoblade 2, it's not going to be the villain. Anyways, I can't see... I can't see Malos just... Doing all the crazy athletic things that Choke's doing. Just, yeah! You didn't see Malice jumping around? Yeah, I, I see him as more like a, a, a big guy. Yeah. Don't you remember, in the, don't remember right in the beginning of the game he was running and then he dabbed to dodge a fireball? Yeah, but they, that was like big man run, not like Choke run. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't see him being an echo for Shulk. That'd be, that'd be weird. Oh yeah, who would be a good echo? Octolings. Ah, true. We'll, we'll kick him out when he gets closer to time. Yeah. 
if he's here for moral down. support. Br get us some views, gun. Yeah, man. Dogs get views. Dog in thumbnail. Yeah, look. Give. Full screen face cam. No. Somewhere. Wait, I put it at the bottom because. There we go. Why would you do this? Dog. Now people can see that I'm a neck beard. I'm a lady. And I'm just an arm. Do you have any fedoras around here? Uh, no. I, I used to, but no. Oh, you used to. I don't. Hello, neckbeards, no my longer. lady. We gotta there check we go. the audio again. Long Check the audio that's long again. enough. That's long enough. That's long enough for school full full school scoliosis. All right. Back back to what what the fans are saying. Vincent? Yes, Vincent, the ultimate <laughs> fighter. Man no wait. Of course. How could I forget Man no wait? Where do, where do Matt go? from We um freaking sports. True. He's an icon. Truly. Dracula? Did you know that Alucard is Dracula yeah. backwards? Yes. Dan, it's not a Nintendo Direct, it's a Sakurai Direct. Of course, but I, but you see, I'm lazy. And I already have this whole thing worked out, and I just use it for everything. At the end of the Sakurai Direct, he goes, stay I tuned. Use this, I use this for the Game Awards. Oh, uh, they, they do like a backwards thing, and it's like, okay, um, at the end of the Sakurai Direct, Sakurai just goes, stay tuned after this for the Nintendo Direct. I <laughs> got they did it the wrong way around. Some, somebody pointed out there's been like over a hundred days since the last Nintendo Direct, and now they're um, th things that you would find in the Nintendo Direct are starting to trickle out into their own Direct, so yeah. as you can see, first Pokemon and then. Well, Pokemon usually are in their yeah, own Directs, I know. but Smash definitely always has been a, a Direct kind of thing. Sakura's just like, we said this thing would be out in February, and you're like, next Direct never, okay. I think they might reveal details on how they're going to go forward with DLC, but I don't think they're going to reveal what the DLC is. Well, if they announce and release... Probably Fighter Pass 2. I'm Do you think there's a chance they'll announce and release the fighter here, and then we can practice... I think they're going to release the fighter today. You think? I, I don't think so. It's going to be it, February, like always, you said. They've always... They said... I think they just did that. They said, you know, just in case. Just in case we don't get the character done in time. February. Uh, that's that's the that's our deadline we're giving ourselves to get this DLC finished and out there, and they're they're going it's January. You know it's close. I, I they've always revealed. They've always... Hey, what's that in his mouth? Give me my sock. <laughs> Fucking dog. I'm gonna get him a bone. Nick Nick Patty Whack. Give your dog a bone. If you choose me so much, what? I just stepped on my weed. Wait, it's not important because I took it off my computer to wait for Ricky. Eat la bone. Hmm. All right, what time we got? Nine minutes. Yes. 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 So yes. I can't bank on anyone right now. Okay, so here's what it's gonna happen. All right, the uh, it's gonna open. It's gonna open with the like. The black screen that goes shing with the cross, like all the fighter reveals. Yeah, definitely. And then it's just gonna open yeah. on, um... <laughs> Go! More attention. <laughs> it's just gonna open on Sakurai. You can see in the bottom it's corner... Awesome. In the bottom corner, he's got a, uh, a face cam, and he goes... <laughs> he just, he reacts with us. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And he goes, Hello, my name is Sakura, and welcome to my Let's Play of Minecraft. Oh my god. For the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and he just starts playing, 
And he's like, I already have a house built and stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is my farm. This is my dog. <laughs> oh, my God. And then he goes over the uh, chest, and it's empty except for one thing in the middle. And he goes, oh, what's this? And it's a book. And he opens it, and it says, uh, Steve, you are cordially invited to Smash Brothers. And Sakura's just like, I didn't put this here. I don't know how that <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, we can highlight a message now. What do we say? What? What do we say? It'll highlight it like that. Oh, a highlighted message? Yeah. Okay, hold this on. Is, this is history, man. This has got to be good. All right. Let me, uh, let me Lego think. Indiana Jones. Zooey Mama. No. <laughs> what are we... Lego Indiana Jones confirmed. True. Indiana. Uh-oh. Mom home. I'm not here. Lego Indiana Jones confirmed. True story. I did <laughs> Play with it? Oh, you took my slipper. Yogi Bear and Smash. It's snowing so hard that your tracks were covered up. To push jumps. He's not here. <laughs> your tracks are already covered up. Yeah, I'm not liking the looks of it. Come on, dog. Come on. How's it going? Okay, how are you? I'm Good. Dan said you went out to Warsaw. My mom's in Warsaw right now. Is she? Yeah. yeah. Got, it was fine here until I um, got just before 28. And um, still was awful. Yeah, it's dreadful. Awful. And then on the way back, it was just awful the whole way. Oh, he's gonna have to go for he's going back to the go slipper. Again. He got the slipper again. Come on, slipper. Come on, come on, come on. Slipper. Hey, you gotta check the door Yeah. Man, your door just barely clears the dresser. It does. Man, we big brain like that. Just out of the room. Eight fifty five. Five minutes, any final predictions? Uh, if I had to pick one character that I think it's going to be, I I, I think I have to I still have to go with my guns and say Master Chief. Your that's both uh, the character I think guns? are gonna happen, and the character I want to happen absolutely the most. What's Sabi saying? It's Mew three. He's on the three fingers. Just reactions are fun to watch. No weeks. All right. <laughs> Every time I look at the face cam in going on the stream, I just uh, am become hyper aware of how much I twitch. Oh. You know, it's probably not the best to look at that for doing that since it is delayed. I want to make sure you can see both of us. All right, Mr. Ball for Smash, Dante for Smash, Pepe. number three. I, 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 Japanese name, Dante and Shadow. Whoa, dude, that dude is freaking reaching. He wants it all. Donald Trump for Smash. Number five. Dragonborn. <laughs> it should be number five, actually. By number five, I mean uh, the the one part of the Mr. Stan from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, of course. <laughs> the one bullet. All right, three three minutes remain. Wow, it counts in the seconds. Yeah, man, that's why I open it. I'm like, yeah, let's get let's get the deets. Sakurai just goes, okay. I started this three minutes early. I'm holding up three fingers. Can you guess what this character has to do with? Not the number three, you funny boy. Spider Man. Ra rabid. Uh, Michael. I don't even know what they're talking about with Mike. D duck, of course, duck. Goose. 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 <laughs> duck. You said duck, of course, duck, and then goose, and I'm like, oh, we're playing this now, eh? Oh, good. Spongebob. Uh, Joy-Con boys. Any hackers? Goose? Jo from the Untitled Goose game? It's Jotaro like... again? 
Shantae, Goku. It, it starts in Sakurai's just Frogger. like... Sakurai's just like... Now, I'm going to start this direct by handing the invitation to the person I think most deserving. And he looks around, he's like, huh, I thought it was here. And then you just hear honk. And the goose <laughs> waddles in with the letter in its mouth. And he's just like, give that back. And the goose goes honk and wow. waddles away as fast as it can. Mm -hmm. Kids, that, complete non-trailer. <laughs> yeah. Goose is the untitled fifth character. Devil Trigger. Gino. Gino was one of the early ones deconfirmed. So was Spyro. So I'll someone say Spyro. Is that Spyro Master the Chief. Dagron? Wait. Master Chief. Pogu. Stop this. I need to add, need to add some <laughs> propaganda for my boy. Bring it, bring it to full screen. It's almost time. Oh, man. A few minutes left. Not like Don't worry, I hide my hype very well, unless it is the only Chronicles character. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one minute left, fellas. I don't know if they're going to open up straight with the, the, the sh shink. You, you, or you're if just going to open up with Sakurai saying it's going to building up hype for us. It's going to open it. up. You hear heavy breathing. It's the vibe check emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks through the screen and grabs the letter for you. <laughs> Vibe check emoji is here to check your vibes. It starts with it starts with Luigi dying again. Of course. Yeah, we gotta finish that storyline, man. Yeah. Luigi's still dead. He's still not in the game. <laughs> he is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi is not okay. <laughs> Hold on, E. Swirler says Dan and Tim. Yo, Sw Swoller, how you doing? No, stop. I looked again at it, I saw myself twitch, and then I felt myself do it again. Oh, like, no. I'm going to the doctor. I'm going to die, actually. <laughs> twitch has infected me. And it's time. And it started. Has it? Come on, Sakura. Dan, you're being We've so started impatient. three minutes late. You're being a thirsty gamer. <laughs> Alright. Time for the echo to start. Yeah. He's got four control. <laughs> right <off> the <laughs> <laughs> grow two more arms. Hardly anyone oh. knows. Hey. Ooh, what? Other Nintendo staff around the globe will only start making preparations I for release after said the showcase has been all five. So it won't be available right away. Oh. Please understand that it will take a little time. Oh. It's that big of a surprise. I think even many Nintendo employees will be surprised to see this and say, Shit. Wow, really? <laughs> what is so, let's <laughs> share in the fun of getting our hands on the latest. Are you saying that Nintendo didn't choose this one? <laughs> However, yeah. even if you say, that's not the character I was picturing, I hope you don't have any hard feelings. So, we might not know this character. Mm -hmm. Once it starts, I can figure out who it is pretty quickly. Now, let's do this. Alright. It's, uh, it's your mom. It's gonna be Gina. <laughs> oh, I mean... Oh, it's, I think it's Fire Emblem. This is actually just a cutscene from Fire Emblem Three Houses. The time has finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharat upon our enemies. Yeah, this is when you get freaking wrecked. That's a spoiler. Is it gonna be Byleth? Are we gonna get a chainsword? What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? Oh, thanks, Sothis. It's Byleth, yeah? It's Byleth. Sword of the Creator. Are you prepared to die? Are you prepared to die? I'm prepared to join Smash as the, what's gonna happen. I'm prepared to die. You didn't want another Fire Emblem character? Ha. Huh? Weak. Well, I, of course. I wanted Fire Emblem. I breathe. No I consume Fire Emblem. There is no other choice but to... Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> she really did say it. There was no other choice. Last brother's already. What in the world are you waiting for? Thanks, Morgana. I don't remember how that happened, but he was holding up three for three houses. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited for this, Byla. Oh! Oh, it's the theme. Alright, I'm gonna be a Byleth main now. So this is just gonna be... Dead. now it's just gonna have... Oh, did you see that? He slashed him up, skewered them with the sword, and pulled them down. Yeah. No. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? And if you you will Too many swordsmen are there? What will you do? I like how they pointed out too many swordsmen. To yeah. Today? So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. Oh, those are the three relics of the main dudes. That could be his gimmick. Byleth recruits Byleth. <laughs> Good face. Of anyone, you should be able to handle the hero's relic. They wield a sword, spear, axe, and bow. Oh, remix! I hear the remix. To do, you cannot subdue to do. Oh, there's a ruptured heaven. The final smash is ruptured heaven. They're not even going third party. <laughs> I know, right? It's weather. <laughs> I like how they pointed out too many swords here. Take yeah. a spear and an axe and a bow. There you go. Hi, and yes, there you have it. Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses is joining the battle. Fire Emblem Three Houses. All right, I'm a Byleth maiden now, Dan. So it's still very new. Even so, you'll soon be. Able I am at least a hundred times more hyped for this than you are, because I played through Three so, Houses. January, 20th. January 20th. Wait, I thought they said that like no one would know who this character was. This, this like you know, nobody would guess it. Game. That's I think that's what he said. Oh, a lot of people were guessing it, and I thought, no, fuck that, because they've been only doing third party. They'll listen to him, they'll listen close. What is Fire Emblem? I think people know what Fire Emblem is. So I guess that's a Japanese thing. The Fire Emblem Police. Sakurai has acknowledged the Fire Emblem Police as existing. People are going to say another sword fighter, even though he is a sword, spear, axe, and bow fighter. Well, they went and added another god to Smash Brothers. That they're somehow gonna nerf to not have god powers. But Fire Emblem was unique because each unit was a specific character, sort of like in role <laughs> Yeah. I'm a Fire Emblem fan. Byleth only ever has one stock, he permanently dies. That's the gimmick. He gets deleted off your console if he ever loses a stop. Mm -hmm. Recent entries in the series maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what have you. 
but a lot of games now allow strategic withdrawals, so to speak. I saw Dudu in the background of one of the trailers, and I'm like, you cannot subdue Dudu. Dudu is a beast. Mm. Please don't eat the weeds. I like Three Houses so much that I beat it once, and now I'm halfway through beating it again, and halfway through beating it a third time. Six fighters from Fire Emblem have a counter move in this game. Man, I was hoping they'd announce Mewtwo King as a playable character. Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remake, but you don't include the Satella V game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Star FD, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. What? I'll give it a try. What is this hand? <laughs> I don't know. System. <laughs> we, we got memes, boys. He's almost flipping us off. He just needed to lower the pinky. <laughs> oh, that's he was doing that for three houses. Man's counting in binary. <laughs> he was. Oh my god. Oh wow. Ah. So right. nobody saw nobody noticed he's counting in binary and he's doing 17. What's the 17th game in the franchise right now? Three houses. Well then, I guess it's lucky for you that uh this isn't the last you'll see character, but I yeah. I'd be very satisfied with this. They were planning on ending it off with this though initially. They, they had to have, like, delayed what the last character was going it's to be, an because this guy be, like, just... just guy. It's an extremely popular game. You should try for it with three houses. How do you think I... am <laughs> playing four JRPGs right now. Okay. <laughs> There's so many Fire Emblem characters in this game already, that's not that big of a deal, though. People were saying Edelgard, well, you know, at least Byleth gets to use Edelgard's weapon, so you can pretend to be Edelgard. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, I just realized, a YouTuber I'm watching is playing this game right now, he's absolutely in love with it, and he's reacting to this direct right now. He's in love with this game, and he's reacting to this direct. Mm. But he also doesn't want spoilers. <laughs> so he's like, uh, I can already guess, is he actually watching it right now? I don't know. Talking about how he got the game early. For that title, I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time, hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. I did the same this time, but with there being three houses and multiple endings, it was really hard to get a feel for it. And of course, there weren't any walkthroughs to the rest. The game has multiple routes, and the outcome of each is very different. Yeah. Yes. In, in my house, there was, like, this really big, evil-looking bad guy. And after the time skip, you never see him again, and the game doesn't actually tell you what happened to him. It's like, oh, this guy seemed important. Too bad I have no idea what happened to him. When I did the Terry Bogart showcase video, I mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. But this time, we have to account for the holidays and such, so we're filming two months in advance of this video. God damn. Wow. Right now, it's actually November. Right now, it's actually November. Wow. show you might differ a bit from the finished version. As always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. Here I go. I'm hyped for this. Okay, make sure it tells. 
Like I said, we, not until the end of January. I'll be back in college by the time I get to play Byleth, and then I won't have any time. So, this is our new and man, I gotta pay for fighters from now on, too. <laughs> Again. Maybe a bit better. Maybe a bit better mobility than Robin, but not much. You could say that the distance demon kill me. The hero's relic they use changes depending on the direction you input with the stick. Each of the hero's relics is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. They look like bones, and there's a reason for that. First, let's talk about the weapon. Violet. I'm trying to half pay attention to this because there's a lot. There's sword of the Creator. A lot of story. The Sword of the Creator here is Violet's default weapon. They use it for flurry attacks and shield defense, such as down tilt and back, where it takes. See you, Swiler. They also use the sword for dash attacks and other moves. You can count that to 1,023 and two hands with binary. <laughs> Though with the sword upward to launch enemies in the air. For their up air attacks, they'll wave the whip sword overhead. The hit detection for this attack lasts for a relatively long time. Ooh, I'm trying to look at all these moves and see which ones trigger which weapon. The sword extends like this. Up B. Allowing you to do things like can they already say that, like, Whoa. the four different directions are different, which different direction is different weapon? Oh, it spikes! Right. Oh. It's a tether. That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. That's some crazy stuff you can do with that. On the 29th it releases. Mm -hmm. I've shown this, but you can also use it to latch onto edges. So that's the upstarter. Now for the sideways moves. This is Air Claw, the same name as the weapon from Celtic Mythology. First we'll go through the forward and back air attacks. As you can see, they have a long reach. That's a long reach for a forward and back air. Marked air attack keeps opponents in check too, right? If Violet does the same thing, you'd win out, so you should be able to beat it. <laughs> Violet, I think, probably has the longest reaching forward. Oh, yeah, wait, no. Yeah. They're the whips, the, the Belmonts have whips. Right, yeah, Violet was on Jay Witz's top 10 characters he doesn't want because it would be disinteresting for another fire. Oh, stronger if you tilt the F, F smash up. Gatekeeper Coon! It's Gatekeeper Coon! Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Look, Gatekeeper Coon makes his appearance. I see what you're pointing at, but it looks like a Gatekeeper fella. <laughs> gatekeeper Coon is in Smash. Dude. Next, the side special <coughs> Upward slash is extreme use. Like this, but again, it's an excellent reach. For example, even when your opponent is at this distance, it'll still hit. Nice. So it's really slow. Actually, you can do a smash attack to start forward a little bit. Like this. But as you'd expect, you can be easily shielded, so be careful. Use it in midair and you'll carve up a large area. Returning to the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. So this complements it well. Although you'll be vulnerable when you land. I like the spin that he does in the air. <laughs> Use your side B as a different forward. Named after a weapon that appears in Yuga Riddick Myth. First, the down air attack. It really is strong. Ouch, that's like a Ganondorf down air. You can try for a meteor effect with this attack. Next is the down smash attack. The heavy swing of the axe back and forth. As you can see, it has a great deal of launch. Man, even the Warriors can be talking about this is a letdown. <laughs> 
I'm excited for this. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, so his down B is uh, Warlock Punch. <coughs> yep, his down B is Warlock Punch. Another notable aspect is that it lets you pass through platforms. While you're charging up, you can breeze past platforms like this. Oh, that's a good mix up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it won't let you jump. I'm like the looks of this. Also, you can turn around during the Okay, I'm sorry, I'm jamming. Dude, I want I want there to be a remix of God Shattering Star. Like that would be great, that would be cool. Like, just looking at the whole list of these characters from the Fighters Pass, just at the end, it's just another fire emblem. Actually, All these new characters! Joke, Joker? Okay, I'm probably most excited about Joker when it comes to the, uh... Never use against a fighter with counter, you will die instantly. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <clears throat> oh man, but, like... Thinking back on it, I'm I, I'm most excited about Joker, and this is actually my second most excited character. That's a fast nair. Palutena, your nair has some uh, competition. <laughs> it looks like it has a small range, though. Yeah. But there are a few noteworthy aspects to this bow. You can't counter it? The biggest difference between this bow and Lynx is that once you enter the command, you can keep- This is a different area of the, um, school than what we saw. He was in the marketplace, and now he's in, like, the main hall. Hmm. It's also very powerful. That he seems to be chilling in area for so long, I don't know if it just changes over time or what. You can also change direction while in the stand. It's a very powerful bow that you can change direction and, and it's very fast. Jesus <laughs> fucking... Hold down to shoot it like a beam of light. How much does that do at zero? Can you show us, Sakurai? 30%, nice. Mm. Except it takes a really long time to charge and can be jumped over. In other words, you're committed to fighting. Oh no. So you see, a situation like this is pretty terrible. Oof. The table, no. Once you've entered the stand, stressful environments hide. Which means it's quite the risky attack to use against fighters who have had a lose with the reflector effect. But you could always just aim into the fray, as it is, after all, a long range move. Letting you deal a sudden blow to opponent. So you need to think carefully when using this projectile weapon. Oh, how about this? Progenitor God, Ruptured Heaven. In the original game, there's a move called Ruptured Heaven. Progenitor God, we had to add the Progenitor God part, because did you know that you're a Progenitor God? So this is voice actor is the same voice actor from Morgana, so now the vo that voice actor got to voice multiple side characters that make appearances in this game. Now, let's talk about the color variations. It's set up so that the default and odd-numbered color variations are male, while the even-numbered ones are female. However, the third... Oh, they got the house leader costumes. Reminiscent to the house they assumed as such. I was wondering why there was we hadn't we weren't seeing that before, that there'd be like some kind of representation for each house. That's a Sophist costume. 
the seventh and eighth variations have a different hair color, which is based on something that we won't spoil. You say that, but they got that hair color because of the event that you showed at the beginning of this trailer, Mr. Sakurai. Ooh, Garrick Mach Monastery, new stage. Tearing through heaven. I haven't seen God Shattering Star yet. Sakurai, please tell me you got it. Oh, cool, a map. From these, you chose to have a cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, bridge, and cathedral, all in one stage. Oh, four different parts that can cycle through. It's the type of stage that rotates through different areas, such as these four. Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. Dudu? You cannot subdue Dudu? Dudu! You cannot subdue Dudu. Dedu, Dedu, Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Dudu. Their names are a bit mm. He called him Dudu. Sakurai, Mr. Sakurai. The official pronunciation. <laughs> no, no, don't do Dudu like that. Who just texted me and said, "Hope you're happy about the new character, buddy." And I'm gonna just reply to that. If you do break them, the stage will expand to the left and right. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> oh no, where will people buy their supplies? The Gatekeeper! 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 It's Gatekeeper Coop! So it is a trampoline. Don't just bust through the ceiling. How long does it take to change? But but chandeliers are still above you. It's fine. And the guests in the reception hall are Edelgard, Dorothea, and Petra, the Black Eagle. Take note, it's not spelled Edelgard. They're from the Adrestian Empire. Petra's not from the Adrestian Empire, you fool! Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the cosplay. Yeah, she is. She's also a bitch. Oh. So he didn't think. Okay. You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. It's possible to knock you down. Cool. Can cause chandeliers to drop. Cool. However, violence can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. You can reach it with other fighters, though. So, it's nice if you can work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. Up throw combos into up B. I just want to say that you can break this table. <laughs> We've seen this three times. You're about to see Claude, my boy. The camera rotates 90 degrees, creating this long area. It's very wide indeed. Claude, me boy. Is that Lorenz Helmin Gloucester? It is I, Lorenz Helmin Gloucester. As you can see, I am more important than you because I am noble and you are p commoner. Because it's an alliance of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members. And Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. Incidentally, both Claude and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name over. <laughs> I like that. Once you reach the 70, once you reach the 17th game and create 40 unique characters for each game, you're bound to have a few names be the same. As for the bridge's design, it's just a long castle, plain and simple. Bridge of Elden, but with Claude, so it's better. And with that big explosion in center. You could also say it's a place where the fail mark really shines. And in this sense, I think it suits the Golden Gears perfectly.
Oh, let me guess. Church. The church members are gonna appear in the church. Yep. Oh, there's Sedeth Flane and Rhea. The fish. I must have the fish, Professor. Give me the fish. Okay, Flane. I must consume the fish. No, Flame would be saying, Give me the fish, Mr. Sakurai. All it has are these platforms. Just a walk off of two platforms. It may be a place where some intense battles will be waged. It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes per location. Ooh! Okay, today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. That'll give us precisely five players per side. Alright, here we go, Joker. Joker! <laughs> <laughs> so he's yeah. SDing with each of them. Sakurai right, trying to show off. <laughs> He's gonna fight them all. Yeah. <laughs> with just. So I was thinking when I saw that this character was last on this, I'm like, he's not gonna. It's not gonna land that easy. Oh, this is bad. Bombs. Projectile horn. <laughs> Good old Sakurai. Lots of explosions. Good one. Like this, like this, look like so. No anti huh? There. The soccer ball connected. Good. There's mom. <laughs> There's mom. <laughs> You're in a good spot, mom. You're in a good spot, mom. <laughs> ah, I shouldn't have taken that. Gardevoir. Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this point, it doesn't matter if Gardevoir is there or not. <laughs> we fire. We have a fire. Triple dash attack. <laughs> Something I would do. <laughs> hey, Sakurai condones it. <laughs> Oh, he got a shield break with God. Downby! He barely even charged that Downby, he just fell on him and broke his shield. Oh my god. I like how he's asking Roy, what the heck are you doing? There's still more. Oh! The stomp. Although I'm scared, I might get hit with a counter in this stage. I hit him. I was trying to fight using Violet's abilities alone, but what matters is that I won. Good game. <laughs> One with just Violet versus five Fire Emblem characters. It can be fun to play like this, especially in a tag team. So I think it's a good idea to try imposing. I really wish I could play as Violet right now, but we gotta wait till the end of the month. Yeah. Ooh. Let's look for God Chattering Star here. Yeah. Oh, Apex of the World! That's one of the final boss themes. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. Hex is now working on counting up the 69 binary. The Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection this time has been made taking those existing tracks into consideration. Okay, where is it? Come on. Fodlin Skies, yes. Tearing Through Heaven. Between Heaven and Earth, yes. 11. Apex of the World, Edge of Dawn. Oh no, there's no God Chattering Star here. That's all right. We got Apex of the World and Paths that will never cross. We're also adding in a new spirit board. It includes the house leaders among some of the other popular characters. I like those spirits. Also, there's a new classic mode round, Heroic Legacy, which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series' history. 
The final battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. But you'll find that something pretty amusing happened, so look forward to that. The final battle is against Master and Crazy Hand, but something amusing happened? So. Oh, me fighter costumes. Here comes another right. Sans reveal. What do we got? I want another Sans level reveal. Loftwing. Oh, is that Ezio? Oh, Assassin's Creed? No, it's Altair from the original Assassin's Creed. God damn. Altair come in. All right. Didn't expect that. Okay. Oh, great. They're consuming Fantastic. the Mies. There's always a Mega More Man Mega costume. Mega Man. There's always a Mega Man costume. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's pretty cool. More Mega Man. <laughs> okay, we get it. There's like 12 Mega Man series. You need to represent all of them. Ooh, Cuphead. Ah, Cuphead. Makes Me sense. and Jake are playing that. Oh my god. <laughs> he, his gun is just the finger. Different. Pew, 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 pew. There is no sign of a me inside of there. <laughs> yeah, <they're>, kind of <laughs> like Sans. There's like no sign that it's actually a me. Yeah. It's also kind of hard to tell. Altair is just a little stubbier than normal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he comes with music too. Well, oh, I guess the, I have to get it was the Cuphead. I have to get music. the Cuphead character now to have all the music. Is Cuphead gonna be twice the cost, just like Sans? Probably. It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting. Oh yeah, I remember Floral Fury. I hope you enjoy these as well. Oh. You almost made up for God Shattering Star not being a song. If someone has created a meme fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. And now, on to the amiibo. Yeah. The color palette for Dark Samus looks pretty good, doesn't it? Dark Samus January 17th. For release on Friday. Yeah, they already added the... For uh, Joseph Joestar and Dark Samus. They've already updated the, the game to support them. And now, with the addition of Violet, the fighter's task is finally complete. The lineup was Joker, Hero... Dude, look at all this crazy... It's out of nowhere. Things, and then Fire Boom. Just ended up fire up. More than seventy fighters, only five have been added. All right, what's next? I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since I would have been happy if this was the end. Right most people are. We intended to make the most. I don't care about most people. <laughs> there really were a lot of new mechanics, weren't there? When we add a new fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements a little different. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. <laughs> My list just got left off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll continue to release more DLC fighters down the line. I had thought that one or two might suffice, but, well, um, have a look. Oh no. <laughs> Is it gonna be five Ten. more? <laughs> How many? Yep, yep, five, five more. more. And a th Oh, six Jesus, more. Six? Oh my god. That, that 11th one must be insane. For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will be available for pre purchase. All by 2022. Okay. And now that it's official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now, and I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. 
Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why and purchase it. Furthermore, the new editions have already been decided. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. But I still hope you'll look forward to it. There's no way we're coming out of this game without Master Chief. <laughs> Six more characters! Ooh, we get a bonus for purchasing Five Year Pass too. Alright, just like the first time. Link again. It's a oh, heck yeah. For me for the ancient soldier gear for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This will not be for sale individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighter's Pass Volume 2. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. <laughs> Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> it seems like Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total sales. However, I'm not sure if this is accurate. There were five versions of Street Fighter 2, or six to seven if you really want to get into the weeds. Plus, there's the arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems. Too humble. So I don't know if that's been accounted for. Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Although, I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. I feel like it's become more than a fighting game. Some sort of celebration of gaming or something else entirely. As a fighting game. <laughs> also, I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. The first fighters pass just wrapped up, but it was decided that there would be more DLC. Which means, no breaks for me. Oh, poor Sakurai. I keep working hard, so I hope you can continue to support us. Poor fellow. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, I guess when Smash just started selling like crazy, they're like, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep adding shit to this game for the entire Switch's lifespan. I'm a Byleth main, I'm already saying that right now, yeah. Well that was underwhelming. That was amazing. But you, you have to admit, even as a Fire Emblem fan, that just in general, that was like, that wasn't that big of a deal. Well, I don't know. In terms Fire of, like, Fire the game, gaming as a whole, because that, we already have Fire Emblem characters. Many, that's like the most represented franchise. Fire Emblem Three Houses is, like, really big. The list. Yeah. But Fire Emblem's already represented in Smash. And it's finally a Fire uh, it's Every finally time a, over. It's finally a Fire Emblem character that's not all using a sword. We already had that. <laughs> We had that Robin was supposed to be the big non sword wielding guy, like, oh my gosh, he has magic. Fire Emblem character, magic! We got a spear and an axe and Yeah, a that's, that definitely is more unique, but the franchise it comes from is like, oh, okay, it's another one of these. Alright. Cuphead, six me fighter, more, yeah. though. Also, I was, I was reminded they, they, they showed. Dan, I'm gonna have to dislike that tweet. They, they showed Veronica. As a Mii Fighter costume, I forgot that actually that's a thing. I need to now buy that. Veronica, who? Oh, okay. oh yeah! <laughs> I just keep calling her Bean. Oh. <laughs> so I actually have to have to uh, spend gold points real quick and get that. Well, there we go. Oh, and we can highlight another message next time. All right.